Hi, and welcome to this how-to video. Today we're gonna talk about the AccuSense camera. It's on the desk right here. We're gonna talk about how to set up the visible alarm, the scope light, and how to control the audio response. So let's get into web browser and control this camera. So now we're in the web browser. Uh, check the version that you have. Uh, so it will be exactly the same as like what you're showing uh, here today. To set up the AccuSense camera, we need to go into event. Inside events, later on we're gonna tell you about the, the strobe light, white light alarm output, and the audio alarm output. But first we go to the smart event. Inside smart event, we have intrusion detection, we have line crossing, region entrance, and region exiting detection. All those kind of things or tabs can be used for the AccuSense technology. So here we can set up four regions. For the entrance, we can set up four regions. For the line crossing, we can set up a couple of regions. And they're all doing the same. So I will just give you one example, but you can set up as many line crossing alarms and AccuSense uh, filtering if, as you would like. Um, for this demo, we're going to show the line crossing detection. If we would like to set up this event, we need to enable it firstly. In this case, I'm going to set up the first line. I need to draw the line. I can move it around a little bit. I can angle it, put it in position where I would like to use it. Second thing I can do is I can choose human or I can choose vehicle. So this is uh, important for the target classification. If, uh, if I'm using an NVR later on, I can search for, for the target classification. Using a standalone camera with IVMS, I can only search for the event type. So this is what I did just here. Um, and one important note is that if I'm selecting the human in this case, the camera will filter out the alarm already. So if I'm later on gonna search out in the IVMS for this kind of event, I will only get the result that I have selected right here. Second thing I can do is change the direction. As you can see in the image, I will choose both directions and you can check the sensitivity. If I put it to 50% of the image, this means 50% of the objects needs to cross the line. Now I'm putting it somewhere around 60, that means 40% of the object needs to cross the line. You need to play a little bit with it to get the correct sensitivity for you. After I have done the settings, I can press save. I'm waiting for the confirmation, the save has succeeded, and I go and continue with the arming schedule. I'm using a 24 seven schedule, but you are able to change the settings here if you would like to. Another important linkage uh, that you might not expect is the setting notify alarm surveillance or surveillance center in this case. This is giving the uh, up ability that in your IV mesh you will have a pop-up. Another thing you need to do because we need to link the event type line crossing to the white light flashing and the audio alarm. So this is enabling the camera to trigger the white light or to trigger the audio alarm. In this case, I will select both. And if you're gonna do some recording, this also should be checkmarked to trigger the recording on this channel. After I've done this, I press save. Now we're almost ready. So the last thing we need to do is go back to the basic event. And here, as you can see, is the audio alarm output. I have, multi I have 10 options here. So if I'm clicking as you see, I can choose the siren. I'll give you a few options here. Warning, this is restricted area. And option number three is pointing warning, this is restricted area, please keep out. Um, so choose any one that you like, um, as been shown here. I can set how many times I want this audio message to be repeated. I choose one time for the demo, but you can you know, choose two or four times, no problem. And you can set the audio level, so the volume level that it will um, speak out of the, the, the camera actually, actually. After I've done these settings, just press save. Last thing I want to do is I want to set the strobe light. So the flashing duration, how many seconds I want the flashing to be able to be there. And the other thing is like the frequency, how fast it is flashing. A little bit low or a little bit high. In this case, I will choose medium. You can play along with it and press save. Now we have finished the settings, we set up the line crossing event, we set up the audio alarm output, we set up the white light alarm output, 
So now we're ready to go to the live view and I will ask my colleague uh, to move inside the image and see if we can trigger the alarm. Warning, this is a restricted area. If we look at the camera right now, the camera is flashing and pointing out this audio message as we Warning. have set up before. This is a restricted area. This is all we need to do to finish the settings inside of the camera. We're now ready to use it. In this case, we put an SD card inside of the camera, connect it to the IVMS, um, so we'll be able to see what kind of alarms, event playback we can do from the IVMS. Let's go check the settings in IVMS. Inside of the IVMS, I'm using version 2.8.22. So if you want to be sure you have the same result, please check this version on the portal and download the latest one. We can start. As you can see, we already added the camera to the system, so we're ready to use it. From the main page, you get the live image, so this is that you really know that you're connected to the camera. The only thing that we need to do left is go to remote playback, select the camera and the that we would like to use in this case, double click or drag it into the image, and this will give us the recording, actually all the recordings that have been made on the camera. I can double click, as you can see, the latest one that we did, and it play back the file, as you can see, that we just have recorded. This is all you need to do. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you next time.